Well, we're finally here. We're back at the allotment and things are looking a bit, a bit dodgy, shall we say. For the, those of you who've been following along, things have been a little bit up and down in my life recently. This is the first time I've been back here for a month. So I think yesterday, today's Monday when I'm filming, yesterday, Sunday, that would have been a month since I was last here. Other things going on, things to do, things to do with. There's been other videos on stuff that I've done at home and whatnot. But all I'm going to say at the moment, there will be more videos in the future and I'll talk about and show you what I've been up to and stuff like that and what's going on. But today, we'll call today the start of a new chapter in my life. That's how, that's how I'm going to propose. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to call it. So there we go. That's what's happened today. But in that time, things have been neglected up here at the allotment. I've come up basically today. It's going to be a bit of a tidying day. Now, there was stuff left in the polytunnel and it's a bit annoying because we've got some lovely tomatoes and stuff some of them will be all right some of them won't this is me i've literally just come in and had a very quick look to see what's going on and some things are looking a bit fusty it looks a bit dodgy in here i can see some just here down there. I'll, show, I'll show you around in a minute and show you how things are looking things are looking a bit moldy there's a couple of flies flying around which is not ideal i don't want it so today is just a bit of a tidying up day in here so things are going to get cleaned up we're going to get rid of all these plants we're going to get all the halo pots put away or at least half of it i don't know if i'll have time to do both sides i certainly want to get at least one side done get it all cleared out all tidied up ready for the winter because they say i've not been here for months i'm miles behind with the, the the prep for winter we've got stuff going on you saw the other week we've got the garlic in we've got other stuff on the go stuff that's ready to come up to go out and there is some nice stuff out there i'll show you towards the end there's leeks there's carrots and there's other stuff growing that i put in a while ago fine out there outside the polytunnel where it's been raining and we've got sunshine and it's a beautiful day today and it is weirdly warm for this time of year so that's been good obviously inside the polytunnel it's not been watered it's all been neglected it's a bit of a mess. So anyway, what you will get, obviously, on this channel, I mean, think about subscribing so you can see it all, see what's going on. I'll show you everything. I'll show you all the things I do wrong, all the things I do right, all the bad things, all the good things, and all the things that are in between. But anyway, without further ado, let me get you spun round. We'll have a look what it's like in here. We'll get it tidied up, and I'll show you outside towards the end there. Right, so just as you come in, this is some context. We've got the door here. As you come in the door... This is on the right hand side and you can see this, you know, this is what I'm probably more upset about than anything. And that's the peppers. I love growing the king of the north, the big sweet peppers. And I'm just careful how I'm touching this. Look at this. It's gone all mouldy on the inside there. There's other ones behind it. The one behind it there is just totally done. They've not been watered. It'll have been a bit humid inside the polytunnel. No, no water and humidity. It's going to cause mould like that. So that's all done for the ones back there. Do they look all right? Oh, am I going to get a horrible, a horrible surprise when I go in here? You see, that's all right. Apart from a slug being attached to it, they actually look all right back there. We've got some fusty looking cucumbers over there. We've got more mould on top of the peppers over here. These might be... -ish. No, there we go. No, it's, it's clearly not all right. These little ones, these little tangerine dreams actually look at this this looks pretty good i mean the plants it looks green there's a leaf just fell off there it looks a bit green but it looks all right look at this so they actually look really good the tangerine dreams i mean this might have really deep roots when i take the plants out really deep roots and they will eventually find the water down there but we'll have a look further and look at these this this is a bit i don't know we'll see what these are like these tomatoes they're, they're still rock solid but some of them, it's just a bit dodgy, isn't it? I mean, look at this, where they've gone all mouldy and fusty. I mean, there's loads of tomatoes on this plant, and I will, I will sort through them. So, if there's any good ones, we'll we'll look after them. We'll take them. We'll use them. I tell you what, though, next year, man, I'm not doing these dark tomatoes again. They look good. God, they're rubbish. They take absolutely ages and ages and ages to ripen. So, no. Not next year. We'll we'll just circle around here. I mean, look at look at the state of that man. What an absolute waste of really good homegrown tomatoes. I mean, they look they're they're lovely looking tomatoes, and they've just been ruined by what's been going on. And we've got the chilies over. Here. Actually, the chilies the chilies look all right. I think they're they're surviving. I mean, it's pretty. They're firm actually, so they're good. The plants. 
the plants are good, the leaves aren't falling off, there's still some on here that aren't ripe, but again, we'll get them harvested, we'll get them taken off and we'll see what they will look like right at the end there. So that was that side of the polytunnel. The story is much the same on this side of the polytunnel. I won't repeat it, I'm sure you're pretty much exactly the same sort of thing again. Anyway, let me crack on. Let me just get on in here. Let me have a good hour in here. We'll get this cleared out. We'll get it sorted out. And I'll tell you what, I'll feel a million times better once it's done. We'll come back. We'll see if we've got any produce. We'll see if we've got anything decent or not. Anything survived. If it's not, we'll see. If not, we'll get some crack and compost this year, won't we? Anyway, back with you in just a jiffy. So, some good progress has been made whilst he's been away. You might be able to, to see behind me here that there's... There's no string hanging down. There's no canes poking up. There's a nice neat pile of halo pots right at the back there. And there's nothing on that side as well. I got, did I get carried away? I don't know. It didn't take as much work as I thought. Then, although saying that, it's roasting in here today. So it is oddly warm for October. I mean, what are we now? No, November. Jeez, it's November, isn't it? And we're not, it's not just November, isn't it? We're well into November. That just tells you where I am at the moment about the, the dates and stuff. But last year we are. Look at us turn around. Look. There's the sunshine shining through up there, so it's roasting in here. So it's been hard work, but it was easier than I imagined, and it's looking really good. You know, you know what? I feel really, really good now it's been done. I even got outside, got a couple of things done out there. It's still a, it's still a bit of a mess out there. And I'll show you. And honestly, there's something been in. Something has been scurrying about and digging out there. And we'll have a look at that in just a minute. Let me spin you around. We'll have a look in here. I'll show you what I've been able to harvest. I've got some stuff outside as well that I'm really. Chuff, I've chuffed a bit, I mean, I ch wait till you see it, I'm absolutely chuffed a bit, so there's, a, there's some of it, and I'll, and I'll show you that, but let me spin you around, we'll have a look in here, and we'll have a look outside and see, see how things are looking. And on that note, it's time to head outside, but look, let's just stop for a second, let's look at this shot through the polytunnel door there, isn't it, doesn't it look lovely out there, look at the, we've got the green grass, we've got the bed just in front of the door, we've got the blue sky, we've got the trees, we've got the sunshine, what a cracking day, let's just head out here, now you can see, this big bed here, just out here, not a lot going on. I took some of the courgettes in it. I did take the courgettes out. There's bits of the plants left. It's a bit weedy. We've got some leeks at the bottom there. They're a bit small over there, but you can see, you see the metal bars lying across there. They're normally fixed from here to here inside the bed. Now, something's been in there digging about and has knocked them down. We've got the, we'll not look too much at these beds over here. These are full of weeds. There's a couple of cauliflowers that have gone to seed. There's some old onions over there. It's a bit foosty. Everything needs sort of for winter, but we'll not, we'll not worry too much because we've got something really quite good to show you. Look, you might be able to see it approaching up here. So what have we got? So we've harvested some leeks. These are musselbra leeks and we've harvested some carrots and these ones are sweet candle. And what I don't know if I can do on the camera, whether it shows up well enough, is just how big these carrots are. They are ginormous. Let me pick one up and show you in my hand. It is absolutely massive. These carrots are ginormous. Now, what am I doing with them now? I'm harvesting them all over the next couple of weeks because last year, at around about this time of year, we started to get problems with the rats and the rats came in and they went through the leeks that are just there and we've got the carrots in the sort of the covered bed just over here at the back and they destroyed everything that was left. So they're all getting picked, they're all getting taken home, they're all getting used. I would like you know the leeks will probably stay out, they'd survive over winter, they'd maybe get a bit bigger, but no, next couple of, next couple of weeks, now we're all getting picked and look, more evidence here of something has been digging back here. So I don't know what that is. And if you come over here, we can see, there's, it's got a couple of weeds in it now, but there's a nice, neatly sort of dug mound of dirt here. It's all really fine sort of dirt. So I'm a bit worried that the rats have been coming back in. So I'm just, I'll probably set up the wildlife cam, I think, and we'll have a look about, and we'll see if we can capture them overnight. We've got the sprouts back there. We've got some lettuces under cover here. I've not looked. It looks a bit weedy under there. And this is the other thing I wanted to show you just down here. Look at this bed. How, do, how good does this bed look at this time of year? We've got Mizuno at the back. We've got Pak Choi in the middle. And we've got some lettuces at the front. It needs a little bit of repair. A little bit of wood's come undone. There's a screw popped out at the end there. It needs fixing up. But for this time of year, into November, it is so, so nice to see things like that growing in this sort of weather. So I thought to finish off, we'd stand here and we'd look out the door of the polytunnel because I thought it was looking so nice earlier on. 
it's good to be back honestly it does you the world of good to be outside it's a beautiful day today getting the fresh air getting my hands in the dirt it is so therapeutic to tidy the polytunnel get all the old plants out there get rid of them all tidy it up ready for the winter get a bit of rest get some winter projects on the go i've got loads of stuff planned over the winter there's still a lot of stuff there's a lot of tidying up out there it's looking a bit tidy there's weeds to come out there's beds to cover and feed and all that sort of stuff but we'll get cracking with that anyway like i say new beginnings new chapter start today thank you for watching folks and i'll see you on the next one bye for now